Hey again, this is Peter from the Ultimate WordPress Guide. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional logic on Biotnet forms. In a previous video, I showed you how to build a multi-step form using Biotnet add-ons for Elementor. If you haven't seen it, look at the suggested video um, in the box above. So what I want to do is building the ability to turn on or off a certain field based on the value of another conditional logic. So if a condition is met, then something happens. So in this regard, I've got two fields, one for a number of adults, one for a number of children. And what I'd like to display is, or what I'd like to happen is, whenever this form has a value of zero, no children, then the age of children fields should not be shown. So let's take a look at how it's done. So I head over to the template that I've created for this third and final step in my multi-step form. Uh, yet again, if you uh, don't know how to do this, please check out our other video on how to create a multi-step form with Biotnet add-ons for Elementor. So what I'd like to do here is set up a condition on this field to make it visible or invisible based on the contents of that field. So in order for me to do so, it's important that I find out what the field ID is of this form. So I can see that it's rather simple. Uh, the field ID is only children. So then I'll head over to the age of children form and right at the bottom under the conditional logic section, I'll go in and I'll enable conditional logic. And here I need to specify the condition that has to be met. So if I go in, I want to be able to show this field based on a certain condition. So I want to show this field if the field code, and in this instance, the field code is children, is equal or not equal to zero. So that means whenever that is a zero, this field will not be visible, but as long as that value is not zero, so any other value that is available in that drop-down menu, this um, this next form field will display. So let's take a look at how this change uh, looks on the front end. So here you can see that I have the option of zero children selected and the field that we've seen in this design here uh, in the content editor is not visible. So if I change that value to a value of one, you can see that that appears. If I change that back to zero, that disappears. And that's conditional logic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful or helpful, please let us know. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications and stay tuned for more great content. I've put a few links to tools, services and plugins that I use in the description below. These are affiliate links. If you purchase a product through one of them, even Biotnet add-ons, I will receive a commission at no additional cost to you, of course. I only endorse products that I've personally used and your support helps me put out more great content. So thanks. Bye for now.